The Caminoans have asked us Earthlings to explain our divisibility laws. The following is a group of mathematics students' best attempt. So, uh, now we'll be explaining um, the rules of modular arithmetic, which will form the basis of lots of the proofs. To begin with, here are some general rules, which can be applied to base n, where n is any natural number. So, if you don't know what modular arithmetic is, don't worry, because I'm going to do a basic introduction right now. So, I'm going to define a and b to be integers, which just means that they're a whole number, and we can write this saying they are elements of the set Z. Now, with congruence, we can write A to be congruent to B mod N. And that basically means that A equals B plus a set amount of N. So A equals B plus NX. So basically, A is B plus N lots of X. So an example of this is we can write 16 to be congruent to 4 mod 12. And this basically means that 16 equals 1 times 12 plus 4. And then this is where we get clock arithmetic from. So we can say 16 on 24 hour clock is 4 p.m. because 12 add 4 is 16. And then we can use this to test the divisibility rules. So a number is divisible by 2 if its last digit is 2. So For example, 354 is divisible by 2 because 4 is divisible by 2. So if a number is divisible by 3, the sum of the digits is divisible by 3. For example, 1 plus 3 plus 2 is equal to 6. So 132 is divisible by 3. If a number is divisible by 6, uh, it is divisible by 2 and 3. For example, the last digit is 2, so 672 is divisible by 2. And 6 plus 7 plus 2 is divisible by 3, so it is divisible by 3. So the uh, number is finally divisible by 6. So, for the number is divisible by 7, firstly, we take two times of the last number and use the remaining to minus it. If the output is divisible by 7, so this number is divisible by 7. For example, 24 minus 2 times 5 is 14 can be divisible by 7, so 245 can be divisible by 7. For the number is divisible by 10, its last digit is 0. For example, the last digit is zero, so uh, 510 can be divisible by 10. Well, we're going to give you a brief introduction. So imagine I have four integers, so that A is equal to B plus NX. Now, using some notation from Earth, we can also write this as A is congruent to B modulo N. This means that A is B more than a multiple of N. For example, using the Cenary system, this is how you guys count, we can say that 35 is congruent to 5 modulo 10. We can also say that 35 is congruent to minus 1 modulo 10. This is because 35 is equal to 10 times 5 plus 5 and 35 is also equal to 10 times 10 minus 1. I'm done. A number is divisible by 2 if the last digit is also divisible by 2. For example, 
34 ends in 4, which is 2 times 2, so 34 is divisible by 2. A number is divisible by 3 if the last digit is 3 or 0. For example, 20 is divisible by 3 because the last digit is 0. A number is divisible by 4 if the last two digits form a number that is also divisible by 4. For example, 304 is divisible by 4 because the last two digits are divisible by 4. A number is divisible by 5 if the sum of the digits is also divisible by 5. For example, 122. 1 plus 2 plus 2 equals 5. So 122 is divisible by 5. <laughs>